Hello, my name is Larry Good. I'm a federally licensed firearms dealer and the owner of Southwest Washington Surplus in Vancouver, Washington. I'd like to talk to you about Initiative 594, a gun control effort that's being backed by billionaires who are trying to buy political results while they're personally insulated from its effects by money, influence, and armed private security guards. I-594 proponents claim that the initiative will close some kind of legal loophole and that it's a common sense idea that reasonable people will all agree with. The truth couldn't be more contrary to these claims. 594 is supposedly a universal background check that will prevent criminals from purchasing firearms. However, this is already illegal. It's a felony to attempt to purchase or possess a firearm if you have a domestic violence conviction or any felony conviction in the past. Criminals still acquire firearms, and it generally isn't from you or your neighbor selling them a gun. They steal them, and they buy them from other criminals who also possess them illegally. What I-594 actually does is penalize law-abiding people like yourselves who are trying to do things the right way. It adds a costly burden in terms of time, paperwork, and money to exercise a fundamental civil right to self-defense. It criminalizes ordinary behavior which has been perfectly legal, common, and necessary for our entire lives and the whole history of our country. You might think that a firearms dealer such as myself would benefit from mandatory transfer check fees on every single private sale or loan of firearms between friends. But I have to say that it would not only overwhelm the system, but I cannot support such an intrusion into the privacy and civil rights of the people of my state and my community. It's ethically unsupportable. Vote no on I-594 this November.